Welcome to Dietrich's Daring Adventures. The Forest of Rowstone. The forest is very dense and hard to navigate because there are no actual pathways, just ones most travelled. I was minding my own business when I found a trap set up in the middle of the road. I disarmed the trap, but then I was attacked by some goblins. I've never hit something so hard in my life. I guess all that wrestling with Fonalin came in handy. Well, I didn't mean to, but they were really aggressive. They were trying to take my stuff. They almost had me too. One of them jabbed me real good in the side. I was almost a goner. And out of nowhere, one of the strangest people I had ever seen appeared. And I've seen some strange people. He keeps telling me he's an elf, but I've never seen an elf look quite like him before. He's ethereal. Anyway, he's helped me with the goblins. I got my stuff. But I can't help but feel guilty. The elf's name is Keladia and we have paired up to make our way to Port Victor. He keeps talking about how the stars are disappearing. He's fascinating. He isn't much of a talker, but I think I have a new friend. I'm just glad I have someone to talk to on the road. I'm not used to being alone. I think he would be proud of me, Mum. I can't wait for my next adventure. Kelly and I made our way to Port Victor. When we arrived, we ran into a human woman named Aleda, who was also making her way to the port city. Before we could get to the gate, however, a young gnome popped out from the trails with news of someone in trouble. Kelly and I sprung into action. Aleda seemed hesitant at first, but once we arrived to the perceived location of the captors, she took to action. I don't remember much of the fight, but everyone said I did good. I'm not sure I like fighting much. But we managed to rescue our new friend, Greya. Without Rune's message, Greya might have been in bad company for quite some time. And just like that, I had four new friends, who, as it turns out, were all making their way to the same city. Apparently, Port Victor's pretty exclusive. This city doesn't just let anyone in. Aleda seemed to be VIP, though, and had an invitation to a year-long celebration held by the city. The town seemed to be empty, and it was a bit strange, but we made our way to a bar and inn. For a town putting on a celebration, there doesn't seem to be much going on, or much people gathering for that matter. Glenda was this dwarven barkeep. She was super hospitable and kind to us. She let us stay at her inn for free. We took the time to get to know each other a bit better. Turns out, Aleda is a brilliant cook. We turned in for the night, but not before I asked Kelladia to teach me how to fight. He seems very skilled, and if we're going to continue on this journey together, I think it's important to be able to pull my weight. The next day, we decided to explore the city. Aleda apparently is looking to lay down roots here in Port Victor and was told that speaking to the mayor, Sir Reinhardt, would put her in good standing. But he seems nowhere to be found. This city is boring. No one has any stories. Everything seems to be peaceful. Too peaceful. Bruno agrees with me so we decided to investigate. The case of Port Victor. Reinhardt is missing. Fruit cart vendor has it out for Jones the Goblin. Not a lot of ships in a port city. Strange. Strange indeed. Not a lot of strangers visit. Or do they? Inquire about Harvest God, worship and human sacrifice. Port Victor continues with its exclusivity. Turns out citizens are regularly tested to be able to stay in town. Aleda is trying to impress them with her cooking. I think she might not like me very much. I may have stuck my finger in her soup. Report more later.